Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to bring you the new T-Max 560 from uh, Yamaha and in this case I'm going to bring you the Tecmax version which is the top version that you can buy you have the base version and you have this one which has extra equipment and I will get there uh, in a while to show you what is different meanwhile uh, what I want to tell you about uh, this bike okay, as you know this is the seventh version of the the T-Max uh, it started on 2001 and now in 2020 it's the seventh version it's a little it's a little bit it's quite different from the previous version especially here in the rear these uh, passenger seats are uh, uh, shorter uh, the access to the side panels are also uh, shorter and more aerodynamic which give the passenger more comfortable when riding the bike you have also this uh, T-shape uh, tail lights uh, these blinkers or turn signals everything is LED, LED. Okay, of course I forgot to tell this is uh, LED uh, again you have a really nice uh, exhaust here on the rear you have uh, seven, uh, 15 wheels uh, this is a 160 60 15 uh, you have a 287 millimeter disc uh, you have a parking brake and you, there's the disc ABS uh, on the front we have two discs 267 millimeters uh, 120 17 R15 uh, tires you have upside down fork with 41 millimeters and uh, as you can see you have this uh, gold uh, cover on the on the on the suspension the fairings is also different uh, the everything is more aer aerodynamic the turn signals are now embedded on the on the body and it's also uh, led you have the, the mirrors here which are retractable if you wish to in order to give you to go in the middle of the traffic but you, you will not need that uh, it handles very well uh, in the traffic uh, you have a windscreen I will talk to you about that in a while uh, everything here is LED it's top of the notch really good uh, lightning and uh, it's uh, really nice uh, engine wise uh, I'm gonna go to the other side which is better for me okay here we are we have uh, two cylinders, uh, 562 cc's, so which means we have an increase of 6% from the previous version. Now we have 47 horsepower at 7,500 rpm. Again, an increase of 3.5% regarding the previous version. We have more torque. Now we have 55.7 at 5,250 rpm, which is an increase of 6% from the previous version. Okay. Uh, also the weight uh, now it's 220 kilograms so it's an increase of one percent but that is nothing you, once you start riding the bike you will not feel uh, that difference we have a 15 liter tank on this bike okay and it spends around five liters so we have around 300 kilometer range with the bike the seat height it's uh, 800 millimeters and since the bike now it's now uh, slimmer on the sides it's more easier for smaller people to, to reach uh, the floor. This version, uh, I already told you you have the upside down on the front, I didn't tell you that you have uh, a single sh uh, rear shock with uh, preload and rebound adjustable on this version, on the T-Mac version. The standard version, uh, it there is no adjustment of preload and rebound. Uh, again, you have uh, an aluminium frame and uh, you have also uh, very, very good modifications uh, on the engine okay so now it has uh, bigger intake valves uh, con rods uh, new camshaft lighter crank improved cooling uh, uh, 12 hole injectors air filters and uh, the exhaust uh, here uh, let me go to this side the exhaust now it's compliant with uh, Euro 5 uh, uh, rules so basically Yamaha says that this bike uh, has a better uh, fuel consumption around 10% and has a more uh, 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 top speed which is true uh, I'm gonna show you in a while uh, the, in the top speed on this bike uh, 
on the dashboard the speedometer it's around it's 180 kilometers and it's very easy to reach those values on this bike it's very very nice okay things about this bike that I want to show you which are different from the basic version uh, we have the windscreen which is uh, different uh, from the basic version uh, we have the heated grips we have also the heated seat uh, okay this is this bike is keyless so I have the keys in my my pocket I think the multifunction display is uh, also uh, a little different you have the cruise control on this bike which I'll show you in a while the driving modes they both have so you have two drive modes which is uh, touring and sport that's uh, that's it and also the the gold uh, the gold coloring on the suspension that makes it different from the base model basically these are the difference from the two models uh, base model uh, 11,999 euros this model 13,799 euros so it's around 2,000 euros difference and for that money everyone will be buying uh, this model ok I'm gonna start the bike now actually I'm just press this button to show you these two buttons here which is seat and fuel or seat and fuel in this case fuel is quite simple you just open this and the seat is also simple you open it and you have here let me take remove my stuff stay there and you have here space for a full face helmet or two jet helmets so it is nice I'm gonna put all my stuff back again you have there on the sides the tire pressure indicator you have a presence light and you have a mini shock here so the seat stays in place and basically it's very simple you just close it and it's done uh, now I'm gonna pass over to the main thing of the bike which is explain you everything here in the front okay here you have levers we have five levels of adjustment both of them you have the menu button here you have up and down button you have lights you have the set and reset and the cruise control button blinkers left and right you have a horn this is the brake the stop and the, let me just take it off you have kill switch you have the mode buttons you have the hazard lights you have the start of the bike you have here a lock uh, a lock button I think it's for the seat and the fuel cap and you have here the lock button the lock button for the bike also also dashboard you have the speedometer on this side you have digital information on here and you have the rpm on this side here you have indication of the abs here you have indication of the cruise control which is there and uh, if it is set it is not that's it here in the middle you have a clock there you have here uh, indicator of uh, heated grips and heated seat fuel level uh, riding mode in this case it's touring if I press the button now it's sport engine temperature information menu and you have several information here here it's uh, instantaneous uh, consumption and average consumption I can change that information by pressing this button here up and down okay so if I press up now we have odometer and now we have range and we are back to the other uh, menu take a look at this information here if I press another button which is this one you can see I can control the windshield now I can control the heated grips now I will control the heated seats and I'm back to information which button did I press I was pressing this button here that says menu so I'm gonna explain if I press menu I go to the option and then I use these two buttons to navigate between the options and I do menu if I want to select an option again so it works as menu and ok so let's go to an option <coughs> windshield okay and now I'm gonna press this button and take a look at the windscreen going up and down okay very easy very practical okay if I'm gonna I'm gonna press this button again and now we are on the heated grips they are off if I press the button up and down look one uh, medium 
no low medium and high and then if I press back it reverts everything so now I'm gonna change for seat it it seats so low medium high if I press back I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the it it seat on on the medium and then information basically this is it if you are on this menu you can <coughs> if you press or if you long press the menu button you have access to this other menu which works the same way up and down where you can co configure more information about the ET grips in this case if I want the eye, eye position of the ET grips to have the intensity of 9 I can change if I want to have the intensi intensity of 8 I do OK and I do 8 select OK if I want the medium to have another number and the low to have another number this is going to be adjustable it's uh, also uh, according to the gloves that you are wear wearing at the moment in the winter you will need it to have more intensity in the summer the gloves are uh, not that thick you can put uh, lower intensity on the on the on the heat on the grip warmer so let's go back and press ok you can do the same thing for the seat you can uh, take the traction control off maintenance units display changes you can change the display information if you want if you don't want the odometer you want the range if you want average you don't want average you can do all that thing the brightness of the screen you have a clock reset everything and you have return and basically this is it this is how this small unit works another thing that i want to show you which is quite important it's how to lock your bike okay the bike as you can see it's in the central stand and it is on so i just press one time on lock the bike it's off but the steering it's still moving so i just put the steering to the side and i press lock again you'll hear a beep and now the steering is locked but even if the steering is locked i can still remove the bike from the central stand if i want to lock the central stand i just press stay pressing this button okay another beep and at this moment the central stand is locked if i try i'm trying it is not moving because the central stand is locked so it's an extra level of protection and it please if you put the central stand do it it is very very important again if you want to unlock the bike you just press this button everything is unlocked if you want to start the bike quite easily you just have to press one lever and that's it okay now let's hear a little bit of the exhaust how it sounds really really nice sound okay one thing I forgot to mention on this bike uh, besides having the sport and touring mode you also have the T-Max or my T-Max connect which is the app for the from Yamaha where you have GPS tracking of your bike you have it, where you can define a virt virtual area around your bike so if everyone comes uh, uh, in that area the you will have an alarm on your app you have a trip log, you have speed alerts, you have low battery warnings, so you have more information on that app in case you want. So if you buy this bike, download the app and uh, install it and you'll have all that thing. Another important thing, you also have several packs that you can buy to upgrade the bike. You have a urban pack, you have a sport pack and you have a winter pack. I don't know the prices of those packs, I'm just telling what is there available for you at the moment if you decide to buy this precious bike which i think it is a good option if you really like a scooter that has the performance of a standard bike uh, this is uh, really really uh, well built and having the engine built or centered in the frame like a standard bike uh, it gives you that uh, confidence while you are riding talking about riding that's the next thing i'm gonna do so i'm gonna enjoy the bike a little bit more and i think i'll see you on the road and i'll talk you about the other things about the bike Bye.
For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record, off record deals. Tell them talk the column for the quote. All record, off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young influence. Had a less impressions. I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete objective, but the moves are loose and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gon' boost them I can't work on winners when I know you're losing So I work the winners and they throw the deuces Guess I have to pivot shooting the bazookas for the facts I need racks, rack, paper rack, cash, rack. fuck a tax That's a joke, tell them laugh Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag Roll me plot, but get a whack Contract, give me them backs I got lab on my back You ain't that, then it's racks whoa, 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 whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you here we are guys riding the T-Max and let's start by cornering Woo! this bike was built for this speed and cornering and we start with this one and then we go for speed it's very very agile bike and it's uh, very responsive to all of your uh, commands I'm just checking if, I, if everything is closed I don't want anything falling from my pockets and let's do another roundabout just like this and then we, we lean it, we lean it, we lean it and there she goes it's really impressive uh, how this bike handles uh, okay, one thing I can do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to the roundabout because I'm gonna uh, do a braking test to show you how good the brakes are and for that I'm gonna use this piece of road here which I have no one behind me and here we go and stop! Wow, really good! Let's test the, the car that's coming, let that, that it just pass there's a car coming, okay we go again and brake <laughs> okay this is just to show you that uh, in the braking department there is uh, no issues on this scooter it's really nice and because I also wanted to do the roundabout again <laughs> it's one of my privileges spending gas for no reason and here we go and this is another thing why the bike is so great it's the way this throttle and this engine responds uh, all those specs that I've been talked to you about before they are interesting, they are specs but what we want to, f to know is feel them on the road and uh, this is what I want to transmit to you okay let me start uh, by a few things windshield really good protection like I said electric so it's very easy to adjust you just press the button up and down I'm gonna leave it up so it uh, has less interference on the sound so it's gonna stay uh, like this so let me change this for here this information and now look at this 80 kilometers an hour bye bye okay this is a scooter huh? I'm on sport mode at the moment and as you can see it's going 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 and it can it can keep going and it can go to the 180 kilometers an hour this was just a little test to show you how fast and uh, the bike can go and how fast this engine responds to the throttle and you just give it a little bit of throttle and boom it goes and this is the sport mode uh, we have touring and sport but if you buy this bike you can uh, forget the touring uh, 
it's a scooter with a sportive look with a very aggressive engine so sport mode is the sport it's the mode to use uh, on this scooter uh, the mirrors they are placed over there very far but uh, the most important thing at this day I have 90% visibility on uh, on each either of them uh, good visibility for the back they had the good shape uh, it doesn't uh, there is nothing shaking I can see perfectly what's uh, uh, coming uh, behind me uh, the brakes I already I already showed you that you have uh, good brakes comfort wise uh, we have uh, leg position we have two positions we have uh, forward and you have the 90 degree position which is good in my case I'm going to use it always forward because I'm a very tall guy and this 90 degree position is not the perfect for me I prefer uh, this position uh, the seat is comfortable it's wide uh, it for in my opinion in my opinion it would need a little bit more uh, uh, cushion to make it a little bit more comfortable but then again uh, this is a, a bike with a more uh, sportive uh, look so the seat is adjustable for the look of the bike uh, I usually I compare the scooters the the Purgman it's the one that has the best seat of, of them all that's uh, undeniable it's a very comfortable scooter but the logic of the, the Burgman it's completely different from the logic of the T-Max and the performance of the Burgman is completely different from the performance of the T-Max so uh, having said this that this seat is uh, uh, okay for the bike that it is I just feel that uh, I would like to have a little bit more uh, backrest uh, I don't know how to say it in English but uh, this uh, little gap between the passenger seat and the, the driver seat if it was a little bit more taller it would give me a little bit more comfortable especially on uh, long uh, commutes uh, but this is really really uh, an amazing uh, scooter uh, this is almost as a standard bike okay the only thing it has uh, all these fairings around because framing engine and everything uh, it's placed as a, a, a normal bike uh, it has the suspensions of a traditional bike uh, uh, look you have there I think it's on the other side uh, that either it's a BMW or something you have the same uh, upside down suspensions and everything so this is a really really well built and well thought uh, bike 800 millimeters you see I'm a tall guy and my knees are uh, a little bit bended uh, so it's not that easy to reach the floor and I'm a tall guy okay I'm, I'm my foot is not a hundred percent on the floor if for that I have to move myself a little bit forward and now I have 100% but if in my position if I am on my uh, standard position uh, I'm not 100% on the floor I'm on um, the point of my feet and I'm 1 meter and 85 and this is because this area is uh, this area here it's uh, a little bit uh, larger this is not the standard scooter where uh, this area here has nothing and you just to put your legs like that one see it there's space this one no it has this thing here in the middle uh, so it makes it uh, a little bit wider here so it's okay I don't I don't mind uh, I just want to show you uh, the possibilities uh, okay the, changing the mode I just press the button here it changes to touring of course you have to take the ends of the accelerator and do it again but uh, that's uh, normal uh, what else I can tell you suspension about suspension like I told you it's uh, like a standard motorcycle suspension uh, really good really uh, high quality and uh, it is uh, I'm just breaking because I need to talk to you it is uh, uh, like riding a normal bike uh, what else I can tell you about this bike things that okay this little thing here you have a storage area you have there a 12 volt socket uh, one thing that it's important it's that when you disconnect the bike this thing locks automatically so that's a that's a plus if you leave something there no one uh, will steal it uh, more things I think I told you about the levels there and everything the specifications of the bike 
it's done this is the parking brake so whenever you park you press this brake and the bike uh, will not move uh, you have this chrome chrome things here which is nice but look at this <laughs> it's bye bye it's really really nice again uh, red except for the bus but I'm not a bus well I could go I could go there because that lane is for buses and motorcycles but I'm not in the rush so I'm just going to wait here and I'm going to show you a little bit of what it can do once the Sun changes here we go look how fast a hundred and break <laughs> okay this is gonna spend a lot of gas but I don't care uh, I'm just want, just here to have fun uh, my seat is on so which level is my seat uh, it is, I'm gonna put the grip, heated grips on, on medium and my seat I'm gonna put on high so I uh, just because I have this bike and I want I want to do these things uh, okay I'm gonna show you cruise control okay cruise control is simple just press this button you'll see us it will uh, go there uh, on and uh, we're gonna use the set and reset but for that we need to be moving it's uh, quite easy let me see how much range I still have with the bike for that I have to change it odometer range 125 okay okay we are on a certain speed let me see if I do set yeah set button there and as you can see I'm not uh, touching the accelerator and it's set if I press one of the brakes it's and sets and then if I want to go back to the speed I want I just do reset and it automatically go to that speed this is basically how a cruise control works so I think that is that's nothing new that I'm gonna uh, that I'm showing you but this is it okay just let me take it off just go off and that's it and uh, I think that's it guys uh, top speeds it's unbelievable it's over 180 kilometers uh, well over I really don't know why it stops there because the bike has much more to offer maybe it's the Euro 5 rules just says you have to go to 180 kilometers 180 but uh, this bike can do much much more it's a really amazing bike uh, the, for me the great downsize for the bike is the price I'm called it's a scooter it's a bike uh, whatever you call it whatever you want uh, like I said this model is um, uh, 13,799 or 12,799 now I, I, I think it's 13 the other one is 11,000 uh, 999 this is 13,799 but for the price different like I said uh, it's better to have this one with the electric windshield heated grips heated seat uh, uh, electronic suspend adjustable suspension in the, in the rear the multi dashboard so it's better to have uh, this one than the standard if you can afford it of course uh, you will be really really happy having said this guys okay I just noticed uh, I just noticed something there there is a tree there I think this tree it's here because this bike uh, I think it was for uh, the international journalist demonstration when they were here and this probably was the bike number three that's why that's three there there is a number three there I don't think it belongs to the bike and now it's in my hands it has uh, 1000 I saw it before it has uh, 1000 226 kilom kilometers it's a brand new bike so I think this is why that the, this tree is there but otherwise it it's not supposed uh, to be there uh, again like I said uh, better version than the previous uh, some things I cannot uh, test like the passenger uh, comfort and everything like that because uh, I'm, I cannot go there uh, and try it but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, if the manufacturer says that they took that in consideration uh, like uh, making na a narrow seat so that the passenger doesn't go with the legs too much opened uh, and they'll give you more comfort I'm sure that uh, they tested everything and it is uh, properly 
adjustable adjusted now having said this guys i really hope that you like this review and please uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, try to follow my other networks they are very important i know the it's in portuguese the instagram and everything else but this is the only one in english but at least it keeps you updated with uh, all the information and i'm gonna enjoy this weekend on the T-Max, Tecmax, and it's going to be a really good weekend with this nice weather and this nice scooter. And I really hope I can see you in the next one. Bye!